video is about the 10 top myths that people believe about the Bible that are really true. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so today's video format is going to look a little bit different because I'm currently fixing my gaming chair right now, so put the camera a little bit lower, um, background still the same, and I'm fixing my light at the same time. Enough to chat, let's get into our topic of today. The number one myth that people believe about the Bible is that Jesus was poor. I have proof, okay? Jesus was not poor. And I have the perfect example. I'm going to list the scriptures. If you want to read them yourself, I'm going to list the scriptures right here. So look, we know that Judas was stealing from Jesus, right, for three years of his ministry. Jesus only had his ministry for three years while he was here on earth. Started at 30, stopped at 33, then that's when he went on the quest for our sins. So Judas was stealing from him for those three years, right? And none of the other disciples noticed that. If somebody can steal from you for three years and nobody noticed, you got some money. The Bible in several accounts also mentions that Jesus had his own ship, and I'm sure that probably wasn't cheap. He had a ship, not a boat or a kayak. He had a ship that's like yacht big, okay? Let's get into myth number two. Myth number two is that Jesus is Jewish. I mean, I guess a lot of people forget that. I'm gonna put the reference up there if you wanna read yourself. You see, I'm giving you proof, okay? Now, in order for this to work for you, the Bible has to be final authority in your life, okay? That has to be the say. Like how moms say the say, and you can't go beyond what they say. Even if you go to dad, if you go to dad, he say, ask your mom, okay? God has the final say. So the Bible has to be final authority in your life for you to understand basically any of this. It seems to me that a lot of Jewish people forget that Jesus was Jewish, but you don't just stop being Jewish. Yes, Jesus was conceived in Mary while she was a virgin, and he did come from heaven. If Mary and Joseph were his parents, well, they say that Joseph was his foster father. Joseph don't be getting enough credit, okay? Joseph taught him how to work. He taught him how to do a bunch of things, and there's like three verses in the Bible about Joseph. I'm gonna ask God about that when I get to heaven, but we ain't going there yet, okay? By the way, uh, how, how y'all like the outfit today? You know, some of the times when I do these videos, um, I'm literally wearing pajamas, but this is all y'all need to see right up to here and here. So yeah, you like to watch? All right, myth number three. All right, now we're gonna start off myth number three with a Bible verse. Isaiah 48 verse 17 says, this is what the Lord says, your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, NIV version, by the way. I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. Why would God wanna give anything bad to his children? You asking why I'm going with this? A lot of people think that God wants them to be poor for some reason, that Christians can't have money. Now I know a lot of rich Christians, but some people are like, bro, Preachers and them, they shouldn't have that much money. All right, look, why would Jesus have money and expect us not to have money? Have you seen heaven? If you're watching this, you, you probably haven't seen it. In, or unless they got that Wi-Fi up there in heaven. Can you imagine if Wi-Fi was in heaven, how fast the internet would work? I mean, you're like right up there to where the satellites are. But anyway, we're getting off track. So, <laughs> what was I saying? For an example, let's say you send your best friend to get something for you from the grocery store, right? And you say, you know what, go ahead and pick something out for yourself while you're at the grocery store. Okay, you gave them a, a list and you said, I need this, 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 and this, and that, all right? And you said, I'm gonna give you more than enough money for what you need. That makes sense, right? You send your friend to the grocery store, you're not going personally, you wanna make sure that he has more than enough because you don't know if he or she has some backup money if you didn't have enough to pay for what was on the grocery list. It's just common sense, all right? Now, why would God send us to the earth without giving us the things that we needed? Why would he put us in this world with a purpose if he didn't want us to succeed in that purpose, right? He would be a hypocrite. And God is not a hypocrite. Before we get into myth number five, here's a friendly reminder to uh, smash that like button and uh, hit the subscribe button. At the time I post this video, we probably had two million subscribers actually, but uh, at the time that I am videoing this video, that was deep, wasn't it? I have 28, so thank you guys for 28 subscribers. Channel growth is doing well. I mean, look at the view count. To God be the glory. I mean, if it wasn't for God and you guys, just thank you very much to God be the glory. Let's get into myth number five. Myth number five is how long did God say we can live? A lot of people say 70 and by reason of strength 80, but what does the Bible say? Let's find out. Then the Lord said, my spirit will not contend with humans forever, for they are mortal. Their days shall be 120 years. So that's how long God said we can live. Here's another verse. Psalm 91 verse 16 says, with a long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. You're probably like, 
why have I not heard of any of these Bible verses? All right, let me explain this to you, okay? You need to read the Bible yourself. You can't just, don't even just go off of what I'm saying or what your preacher says or what your pastor or your friends tell you or your grandparents about the Bible, okay? Specifically about the Bible. Go to what the Bible says in and of itself, okay? Find out for yourself what the Bible says. The Bible is right, all right? People get their information from the Bible. I don't know about you, but I'm living to 120 years, okay? I'm about to see my great, great grandchildren, all right? For real. All right, guys, so it's the next day. I was editing my video and I have so much content and the video is long. I had to break it up into two parts for it to process in my editor. So part two will be coming soon with the rest of the five extra myths that we have to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed part one though. If you did, go ahead and let that like button know, all right? Let that like button know. Um, stay tuned for part two and stay victorious. Jesus loves you.